Now, before you cut off the end, lay it loosely around the dance pad and check if you have enough for appropriate shoulder height, carrying height. Which we do not yet. You need to take a, take a fifth pull. Which we then again, which we then knot up the rope. And let's get the sixth pull for good measure. Turn it off. Rope up this end. And now lay it around the dance pad. With the two loopy ends up top. Just for shoulder operability, and then we take the tape and lock together these two ends of our rope. At which point we take our rope and tape it to the edges of the dance pad.
Start with the corners. Being sure to pull the rope taut. And then seal it on the edges. And anytime you're going to affect the a button's performance, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it more around the corner where, where, there, where there is not a button. At this point, you can now shoulder your dance pad, like such, with both hands free to carry, to carry keyboards or open doors. Last step is to tape on our dance surface. In five key places. Actually, I'm at that six key places. At the corner of the A but at the side of the A button location, which does vary depending on whether you are using right or left pad. At the, at the corresponding side, 
over here. And before buttoning this area up, it is a good idea to take a sheet of our foam and tape it over where the wires sit, are housed. on the surface itself, on the dense surface itself. This will be prevent the wires here from being, being damaged when people, people mistake this button for the A or B button. Next most favorable spots are between the up and X regions. on each side. 